Hey guys, Sonic Master the 99 here again, and I'm gonna be bringing you guys a tech tutorial on how to build the nuclear reactor the most efficient and safe way possible. Set up your nuclear reactor, your your nuclear whatever the heck it's called, nuclear reactor, at least a block off the ground, so you can fit the nuclear or so you can fit the reactor chambers around the edge. like that. So then you can right click on it. It's got a lot more space. This will be so efficient that you'll actually have to do this. You'll actually have to put an HV cable since this lets out about 2300 no, 2030 or something EU. This HV cable can just barely hold on to the EU output. And cannot use glass fiber cable for it. It does not let out enough energy. You need an HV reactor or an HV, um, uh, an HV, uh, whatever the heck. I'm half asleep. Sorry, it's early. <sighs> HV transformer. Hook it up to an MFSU unit. MFSU. There. Set up like that. You can set up another one like this and like this to increase the energy that you that you'll be getting. There. Put this away. And then what you'll need is a heat is a thermal monitor because a thermal monitor will keep your um, reactor from overheating. So you'll need just the one redstone repeater and you will need just redstone set up a thermal monitor keep it at that 500 mark that will keep the that'll keep it from overheating and exploding and ruining everything get out of here slime and yeah, let me set this to peaceful okay when it when that actually when it reaches 500 it will let out a redstone signal which will turn which will turn off the reactor until it cools back down again. What we will need next is a condenser and uh, energy collectors. Let me grab a condenser. Since you can use ice to cool down the reactor, you can put ice in there. As you can see, it will create these will create enough uh, will create enough ice to keep it running. Then you'll need a uh, phlegmatic tubing. I don't know how to spell phlegmatic tubing. I'll just look for it quick. Might have went by it already. I don't know. Guys are probably yelling at me. You just went by it. Or maybe it'd help if I got rid of that. Uh, sorry, guys. Not prepared. Don't have enough slots in my inventory to carry all this stuff with me. Oh my god, I fail at this so bad. You will also need a timer. Forgot to mention that. There it is. And you will need a filter. There, filter. Since it's like that, you will also need to grab a screwdriver if you messed up like I just did. Screwdriver. To turn it around. Oh, other way. There we go and put it right to there I'm gonna put it right there just because I don't want it to interfere with the redstone signal if it will just leave this empty put your timer down not yet though because I want to put put the uranium in this thing first put all this away oops oh well I'll just grab a timer later what you'll need is uranium uranium cells okay Oop open up this and put this in oops forgot to turn it off that would probably helped lever and I'll just place it right here for now hold shift to place the lever just turn it off place all this stuff inside of it this is the safest way to set up a nuclear reactor It'll let out a lot of EU. You will probably not even ever need to use solar panels again. 
you'll just need to keep uranium. You can probably just condense uranium once you get high enough. Use just generators and bat boxes, geothermal generators and stuff until then. This is how you have to set it up in this pattern. Here, just let me get these out of here. Let me get two new ones in there. There. Set it up like this with all these uranium cells or whatever the heck you're going to use to power it. Isotopes, re-enriched uranium cells, whatever. Put them in there like this. Now, what you want to do is put the timer down like this timer. What you want to do is just set the timer down like this and set it to point four like this. Now it'll fill up over time, I hope. There. Uh, it keeps pulling it out of there. You should probably let it run for a little bit before you do that. Just because the way the just because the way the filter works, it will always take it from the first slot, and it keeps filling it up. Or you don't need to use Mark ones; you can use Mark twos. For now, I'm just gonna grab red matter, dark matter, and put it in there just to give it some power. Red matter. I'll just put a thing of red matter in there. There, that should be enough. Yep. That whole bottom will fill up with ice. Then what you can do is just turn it on. And that will just keep filling it up with ice. And it doesn't overflow, so you can see it comes back through. Just using up the uranium. Hasn't overheated yet. You can see it's filling up these MFSUs extremely fast. You can see it right there. If I were to just break this, then you could just see this one being filled up. That's how fast it's getting filled up, right there. So this lets out an extremely large amount of EU. And that's how it's set up, guys. You cannot use glass fiber cable here. You might be able to use it here. I'm not really sure, but I'm just using HV just in case. You need the HV times or er, HV quadruple, uh, whatever, filtered or covered. Yeah, that's how you build it, guys. Thanks for watching.